everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Facebook Live Holiday Storytime. We're going to start off our evening with a hello song. So if you ever came to Music Storytime, you'll know this one. And if you didn't, I think you'll catch on pretty quick. You ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Now we're going to stop our feet. You ready? We stop. by Harriet Muncaster. Clementine lived in, in an ordinary house on an ordinary street with her ordinary mom, dad, and brother Charlie. But there was one extraordinary thing about Clementine. She was the smallest girl in the world. Can you see her right there in her mom's hand? So tiny. She was so small, she had her bath in a teacup. And her bed was made from a matchbox. That's pretty little, isn't it? Most of the time, it was fun to be tiny. Sadly, Christmas morning was not one of those times. Santa brought her nice presents. He brought her a stuffy and a xylophone, but what's wrong with those? They're way too big, aren't they? But they were very big. It was for time for Clementine to tell Santa she was not an average sized girl. We can make Santa a giant gingerbread cookie and use the icing to write that you are a tiny person, said mom. Good idea, said Clementine. He can read the cookie before he eats it. She's writing, dear Santa. Clementine spent all day making Santa a big, beautiful cookie. Then she went to bed and dreamed of all the tiny toys he would bring her. You see his hand right there, so tiny. Oh no, but the next morning Clementine woke up and the cookie was gone. A puppy waited for her by the fireplace, a very big puppy. I don't know if she can handle that puppy. Santa's never going to know how small I am, wailed Clementine. Over the year Clementine grew, but not enough to hold the puppy's leash. The next Christmas Eve, it snowed. Perfect, said Charlie. Clementine can write a Santa a message in the snow on the roof. He'll see it when he lands in his sleigh. Good idea. But the next morning when Clementine came downstairs, there was a shiny new paint box waiting for her by the fireplace. A very big paint box. That'd be hard for her to use. It must have snowed again in the night, said mom. And the snow covered her message. Over the year, the whole family thought very hard about how to tell Santa how tiny Clementine was. And just before Christmas, they came up with a plan. Dad printed out lots of pictures of Clementine playing with the toys Santa had left her and hung them over the fireplace. Maybe he'll get the message. You did have quite a lot of fun with them, he said. Yes, I did, agreed Clementine. Even though they were too big, she made the best of them. On Christmas morning, Clementine went downstairs and found a huge package waiting for her by the fireplace. The Christmas present was the biggest one yet. 
He's done it again, said Clementine. Oh dear, said mom and dad. Let's open it anyway, said Charlie. He loved opening presents. Oh my, said mom. Goodness, said dad. Wow, said Charlie. In front of them all stood the biggest, most beautiful dollhouse any of them had ever seen. It was the perfect size for Clementine to play in. How fun would that be to get your own little house? That's so cool. She wrote Santa, thank you. Dear Santa, thank you for all the gifts, but especially for my new house. It is the perfect present for me. Lots of love, Clementine. The end. And now it's time for another song. Here comes Miss Kaylee. All right, guys. We're going to do a couple of movement songs. The first one sounds a lot like the song Jingle Bells, but it's even easier to sing. And what I want you to do is try to find something that makes a fun sound, like if you have jingle bells at home or if you have like some car keys, anything that you can shake and clink together. And when we sing jingle bells, you're gonna shake them. And when I say stop, you're gonna freeze. You ready? <laughs> Good job. Did you guys get it? All right, we're going to throw one more thing in there. So now we're going to shake them up high. You ready? All right, what's the opposite of high? Can you shake them low? song to spread Christmas cheer. It sounds like we wish you a Merry Christmas. So I think you'll pick up on the words if you want to sing along at home. You ready? Let's Ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, oh, what a Christmas. Everything started off the same magical way Christmas always does. Santa and his reindeer took off from the North Pole, loaded with presents for all the boys and girls around the world. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Santa called out as the sleigh raced across the sky. Uh-oh. Then pop, rip, stretch. The harness that attached the reindeer to Santa's sleigh was tearing. With one final boing, it snapped in two. Ho, ho, oh no. The reindeer streaked off into the night and Santa and his sleigh headed back down to earth like a big jolly red skyrocket. A snow covered mountain rose up from the north woods. The sleigh struck the snowy peak and skidded and slid and slipped and spun down the slope. Oh no, look at Santa. Now the sleigh was going so fast, Santa couldn't stop it. A great plume of snow flew high up in the air as the sleigh tore across the field. Ho, ho, slow, Santa howled right before he crashed. Kablam, into the side of a barn. Santa wasn't hurt. He just sat there, brushing the snow off and wondering what to do now. The barn door creaked open and a sleepy sheep peeked out. Ho, ho, oh, hello, said Santa. The sheep stepped out into the snow, followed by another sheep, then a horse, then two cows, then a goat, then a pig, and finally, a very old dog. Well, this is a fine mess. Santa's belly jiggled as he laughed. Those reindeer must be halfway across the world by now. I can't disappoint all those children, Santa said. I have to get them their presents. Santa was thinking. Suddenly he smiled, and with a twinkle in his eye, he said, maybe you could help me. Santa turned the sleigh right side up, and with a little help from his new friends, all the presents were packed onto the sleigh. Then Santa lined up all the animals two by two in front of the sleigh. You think the animals are gonna be able to pull the sleigh? Santa wiggled his nose, snapped his fingers, and poof! In one instant flash, they were all attached to the sleigh with a beautiful new harness. Santa sprang to his sleigh with a quick little whistle. Giddy up! And before the animals knew it, up they went. They were flying! Now sheep, now goat, now piggy and cows. On horsey, on doggy, oh, what a Christmas flight we have now. The once silent night was filled with mooing and barking and baaing and neighing and oink, oink, oinking. As they approached the first house, Santa called out, ho, ho, whoa, whoa. They landed with a big thud, stomp, flack, lump, whip. Then they screeched to a halt, just at the edge of the roof. Not too bad for your first time, said Santa as he slipped down the chimney. Delivering presents to all the children of the world is a big job to do in one night. They were so far behind schedule. They had to work twice as hard. There was barely any time for cookies and milk this year. One country after another, one house after another, one present after another, they finally finished as the morning sun came over the horizon. Santa was covered in ashes and soot, and the animals were all so hungry. Ho, ho, home, said Santa with a big yawn and stretch. You did a great job. Now it's time to get you back to the barn. The reindeer were waiting as Santa and his new team touched down. Ho, 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 oh, what a Christmas, said Santa to the proud little man from the barn. I couldn't have done it without you. Santa let out a big belly laugh and he looked at and he took his new friends out of the harness and buckled the sheepish reindeer in. I've left you a special surprise in the barn, said Santa with a smile. Then he hopped up on his sleigh and with a flick of the reins, he headed back to the North Pole. Over his shoulder, he shouted out to his new friends, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. The end. All right. Now
next up, my friends, Miss Keely is going to come back over and she is going to sing a song with us. And we're going to use some flannel pieces for this. All right. So this next song is called Must Be Santa. And it's kind of a call and response song. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer with Santa. So we have this little visual aid to help us out. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can get this guy dressed and ready for Christmas. You ready? Santa's got a beard that's long and white. Santa's got a beard that's long and white. Comes around on a special night. Santa comes around on a special night. Special night. Beard that's white. say Merry Christmas. Well, Santa, thank you so much for stopping in tonight. I know you're very busy, so I will let you go, but I really appreciate you joining our story time. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Hi, Christmas. Wow, can you believe Santa came to our story time? That was so exciting. All right, my friends. So we have one final song tonight. And we are going to sing a song, and I'm going to show you the pictures to this book. So Miss Leah and Miss Keely are going to join me. And the book that I have is Walking in a Winter Wonderland. So we are going to sing Walking in a Winter Wonderland together. So please sing along at home if you know the words. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is listening. Lots of fun with Mr. 